It's Sunday, August 4th. I'm Major Garrett, and this is Face the Nation. 29 people are dead following two mass shootings in less than 14 hours. And Americans find themselves asking again the painful questions. Why? What can be done? And what is going wrong? The first mass shooting occurred in El Paso, Texas. A gunman killed 20 and injured 26 at a busy shopping center. We will have the latest from El Paso and more about what motivated a massacre authorities say appears to be a hate crime. Thoughts like this, actions like this, crimes like this are not who or what Texas is and will not be accepted here. The second mass shooting occurred overnight in Dayton, Ohio. Nine are dead, plus the gunman. The shooting took place in a popular Dayton entertainment district. Police were patrolling as usual and neutralized the shooter in less than one minute. Dayton Mayor Nan Whaley. Clearly the question has to be raised. Why does Dayton have to be the 250th mass shooting in America? We will get the latest from Ohio Democratic Senator Sherrod Brown. Democratic presidential candidate Beto O'Rourke canceled his campaign events to head home to El Paso. I'm incredibly saddened and it is very hard to think about this. We will talk with him and Republican Congressman Will Hurd, whose congressional district is near El Paso. President Trump called the El Paso shooting, quote, an act of cowardice. Earlier this week, the president stepped up his attacks on American cities. The homicide rate in Baltimore is significantly higher than El Salvador, Honduras, Guatemala. We will hear from South Carolina Republican Senator Tim Scott about what can be done to help these communities. As always, we will bring you analysis on all the news of the week coming up on Face the Nation. Welcome to Face the Nation. Margaret is off today. It is a grim Sunday morning as we woke up to the news of yet another mass shooting. But we begin in El Paso with CBS News correspondent Janet Shamlian. Good morning, Major. It's an active crime scene at this Walmart today, which has become the deadliest mass shooting in America.